What advice would you give your younger self? So how do you make money from your business? What makes you happy? Can you break down some of your income sources? How are you guys paying for this? What's something that you'd change about yourself if you could? How much do you guys spend on this whole experience? Probably 15 grand total with flights, outfits, <laughs> you know? Who are you most excited to see this weekend? Oh, I have no idea. My boyfriend just dragged me over here. Oh. I told him I was gonna follow him like a lost puppy. Yeah. Um, so what do you do for a living? I do Modelo. Okay. I drink tequila, All right. and then sometimes I'll do some real estate work on the side. What's up you guys? We're here at the Coachella Safari Campgrounds where rooms like this cost anywhere from like nine to thirty, forty thousand dollars per stay. I've always wondered who actually is able to afford renting something like this. So we'll be going around asking my fellow neighbors what they do for a living and a bunch of other questions. Before we start, I actually want to give you guys a quick room tour. So this is the tent that we rented that cost eleven thousand dollars for a four night stay, which sounds absolutely crazy, but there are a lot of perks to it. We have a pool, two beds, fridge, table right here, mirror, air conditioner. And besides that, yeah, it's a really simple room. It's definitely not insulated from the outside, but I will say there's so many other perks that come with the Safari Pass. For example, you get the guest artist pass. You can get shuttled around in golf carts, which I think is the big perk. And it also comes with free food, free drinks. And yeah, you guys might have noticed there's no bathroom in this room. The bathrooms are in a separate location. It's not the most ideal situation, but it's a cool experience and I'm super glad that I'm here. Now I'm gonna take you guys actually through the safari campgrounds because I feel like it's super, super interesting. I've never experienced anything like this. So yeah, let's go. As you guys can see, there's a mix of like tents as well as these little house thingies. Those are the residences. So those are $15,000 for the four night stay. Those are the yurts. Those are the most expensive ones. I think those are like 30 or $40,000. So yeah, absolutely crazy. Over here's the main safari like compound. So that's where all the meals are. When you get a safari tent like this, it comes with a free uh, 30 minute massage. So I think those are where the massages are being done. Completely free. Okay, so these are the showers. It's a little small, but it's not too bad. It's kind of like a uh, shower on a cruise ship. And yeah, this one has four different showers. And then they have two sinks here for you to like brush your teeth and do other stuff. So shortly after doing that bathroom tour, on our way back, we ran into our first interviewee. So what's your name, age, and where are you from? My name is Ben. I'm 28. I'm from Santa Barbara. And what do you do for a living? I do social media marketing. So I run an agency. How'd you get into that? I worked for a bunch of YouTubers at first, did a bunch of internships, kind of like dug my trenches, and then just started my own thing about four years later. So how do you make money? Money from your business through selling people things okay. giving them a product that, that they like and they are happy with and then they'll pay me for it do you have any advice for newer entrepreneurs you just gotta put your head down and you'll look up eventually and you'll be there you know what I mean you just gotta put like put the work in yeah. and just keep on trying you know winners never quit and quitters never win did you go to college I'm a college dropout why'd you drop out of college because I was a film student and I didn't think that there was any need to I dropped out and I got a job in film and that and then now I do marketing so okay. I'm just I don't know I just wasn't a big fan of college What's the number one skill that all young people should learn? Persistence and desire for your goal. I manifest, so I write in a journal every day okay. what my goal is and what age I want to hit it at. How much you guys spend this weekend? 15K. If you could go back to your younger self, what would you tell yourself? Drop out of college sooner oh. and just start your own business sooner. And how much do you pay for rent? I was averaging about 20K a month on rent, but uh, now I'm not in an apartment, so I'm paying 5K. How are you paying 20K a month? I was living in a, in a Hills mansion okay. and an apartment at the same time, and the Hills mansion was like 20K, and then my apartment was 5k I, I did that for a full year so on that topic what do you splurge your money on festivals having good times bringing friends out on the flip side what do you frugal on probably like clothes to be honest okay. yeah I'm not, I'm not not really too that big into like designer brands and stuff like that or like same with like nice cars I don't have like a super nice car or anything so for someone in their 20s what do you think they should be doing in order to see success we well, should definitely be working on them like on their self reading self-help books I think that's really good watching YouTube videos meditating think and grow rich that's a good book to read I read Nick and Grow Rich 90 times before and what I, and I really feel like that book is what kind of took me off into success because I was not doing too well listened to that book like 90 times and then I started being successful Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill any final advice you want to share with the audience just have fun with your life guys love it thank you so much what are your names uh, how old are you and where do you guys live I'm Audrey. I'm 20. I'm originally from Albuquerque, New Mexico, but I live in LA. I'm Ella. I'm also 20, and I'm from LA too. What do you guys do for a living? We're both students at UCLA. We're both students at UCLA. <laughs> nice. Hey, right, what do you guys major in? I'm an econ major, but a society and genetics minor. Okay. 
I'm a public affairs major and I have a minor in film and TV. So is this your first time at the Safari campgrounds? Yes. Yeah. Yes. How are you guys enjoying it? Pretty it's good. Really good. So far, other than yeah. like the wind last night. Yeah, the wind last night crazy. was really horrible, but <laughs> other was, than that, it's it's been it's yeah. been good. Breakfast was was good. Breakfast is good. Yeah. Do you guys think it's worth it? I mean, I think last night I was questioning it, yeah. but like this morning it, they kind of redeemed themselves yeah. and I'm like kind of starting to see like why people like, do it. A lot of the reason why I think it's worth it is yeah. that like you don't have to deal with like any of the traffic yeah. like yeah. before and after the event and like it's so close to the campgrounds too. So Yeah, I agree. It's just really convenient. Like being able to just like walk, like there's a tent like right there, yeah. like for the concert, so it's like I feel like it's worth it. How are you guys paying for this? Birthday present from my mom. Oh. Birthday present from my dad. Oh. <laughs> I mean, but we're working over the summer, yeah. so yeah. What are you guys gonna be doing? I'm gonna be an intern at American Express. Okay. Yeah. Um I'm gonna be an intern at like a smaller independent film company in LA. Do you guys have any advice for college students? Just go out to as many like clubs and events as you as can, can and try to yeah. meet as many people as you can because yeah. It'll just be really good for like your own network yeah. and like to have like more friends in the future. Yeah, I agree. I feel like it's now is the time to do whatever you want, so do whatever you want. Who are you guys the most excited to see this weekend? Frank Ocean. Probably Blackpink because I hope that they bring out like a really good guest or like Calvin Harris. I'm mm -hmm. also really Calvin excited too, for. Yeah. yeah, also Bad Bunny. So do you guys have any productivity tips? Try to organize like your to-do list and like your assignments as much as you can, whether that's like a planner or just like putting it straight into like your calendar. No, yeah, I also live religiously by Google Calendar. Also get headphones. Like once I got headphones, it was like a studying game changer. It was like, as soon as I have them on, I'm like locked in. So what's your name, age, and where are you from? I'm Ethan, I'm 30, I'm from Santa Barbara. And what do you do for a living? Technically, it's still produce music for a living, but I also have a YouTube channel. What made you spend so much money on this safari camping experience? Well, it's not always about about you having a lot of money. It's about knowing people who have a lot of money oh. and leveraging them. But um, my friend who did buy it, he does social media marketing. And how much did you guys pay for the thing? He paid 15 grand. How'd you get into music production and do you have any advice for people that want to get into that? Stop making excuses and start making music. So like use the resources that you have to make the music that you can at this point in time. And go to my YouTube channel because I teach people from beginners to intermediate, advanced, the whole thing. What's your channel? It's called Complete Producer. Okay. Just look up Ethan Davis and you'll find it. So for people that want to get into music production, where do you actually start? The biggest thing is you need to learn how song structure, like how to write a song, okay. and then learn the five basic elements of like production. So like bass, drums, mids, vocals, and effects. If you put those together, then you can produce music, basically. Okay. Can you break down some of your income sources? Producing right now, I usually charge between two and 10 grand okay. per song. And then my YouTube channel is bringing in anywhere from like 2,500 to five grand a month okay. through like core sales and stuff. And then also I make money from royalties for different music projects that I have. I just got a payment for the last few few months that was like seven or eight grand. So it's not a ton, but all those things spread out, it does add up. Yeah. Who are you most excited to see? Remy Wolf. <laughs> She's just so free. If you could go back 10 years, what would you tell your younger self? Stop worrying. Worrying is such a waste of time. Any final advice you want to leave the audience? You're valuable. Act like it. <laughs> Thanks so much. Yeah. Thank you. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. So what's your name, age, and where are you from? My name is Grace O'Kenny. I'm from Calgary, Alberta, and I am a makeup artist. How'd you get into doing makeup? I just really was getting tired of paying women to do my makeup for me because yeah. I'm a model and I was like I just want to do my own goddamn makeup and not pay someone a hundred dollars to do my face and do you run your own like business right now I do okay. yes do you have advice for aspiring entrepreneurs whatever you want to do just go out there and do it you only have one life and why not do what you want to do what's the one piece of advice that you needed to hear when you were a younger entrepreneur that I can do anything if I put my mind to it do you have any habits that you do every single day that you think everyone should do I write down goals that I try to go through every day yeah. so you write a goal as long as you're achieving something every day yeah. it's gonna make you feel a lot better okay and then last question who are you most excited to see this weekend oh I have no idea my boyfriend just dragged me over here oh. I told him I was gonna follow him like a lost puppy so what's your name age and where are you from I'm Vince uh, I'm 38 I'm from Hong Kong so what do you do for a living I sell construction materials how much are you guys paying for this fire experience 11 though okay yeah do you have any advice for uh, aspiring business owners just give it a few years you know like I think the first three years was rough as things move on you you probably have a sense whether this is gonna work out or not yeah but like give it a few years what do you like to splurge your money on essentially this you know I don't really spend money on cars maybe a little bit on food okay. but like mainly uh, music music and festivals what needs to be changed in the world people just need to be nicer in general and I think you know people are just like becoming more extreme you just gotta understand everyone's got something difficult in their lives so you know just try to take that into account what is a skill that everyone should be learning how to do learn another language has that helped you with business yes 
I guess it breaks the ice a little. I don't think I'm good enough to the point where I could negotiate with it. But you know, like in terms of a networking and relationships, that definitely helps. What's something that you'd change about yourself if you could? Be a little more patient. I think not everyone works at your pace. Yeah. So let's just say like I work quite fast and I'm quite competitive. But if you have a large team, you just always got to accommodate for people who's not always working at your, the speed you wanted to. But of course, you know, I'm not asking them to be lazy. And last question, who are you most excited to see this weekend? Bad Bunny. On day one, we only talked to people that were living in those tents. And the cost of these range from nine to $11,000 for the first two people. The price depends on when you actually book it. And you can actually add additional people for $3,000 each. So a tent of four people booked at the last minute would cost $17,000 total. All right, guys, it's day two here at Coachella. And today we're going to be asking some more people what they do for a living. Day one was a success. Today's going to be awesome as well. So let's go. So on day two, I was feeling a little bit more ballsy. And so I decided to go straight to the yurt. These are located on the far side of the campgrounds. And you guys, these people are big ballers, seriously. So obviously I was pretty nervous, but actually the first two people I talked to, they were both down to be in the video. What's your name, age, and where are you from? I'm Luke, I'm 42, I'm from Scottsdale, Arizona. And uh, what do you do for a living? I do Modelo. Okay. I drink tequila. All right. And then sometimes I'll do some real estate work on the side. Right. We have a private equity firm okay. that does senior housing real estate. I have a construction company, architectural firm, management company, a development company, and then a marketing agency. So we do it all, all within real estate, though. That sounds like a lot to juggle. How, how do you do that? Without her, I can't handle any of it. So it's because of her. She okay. keeps me it balanced. It's, she's the reason for it all. Do you guys have any relationship <laughs> advice? Oh, just have a good time and go with the flow. And Send Coro and Yeah, okay. drink tequila and be yes. happy pretty much. Nice. No yes. drama. So where are you guys staying at the Safari Campground? We're at the yurts right here. So how is that? Well, let me let me explain it this way. The service is like no other. Okay. We landed and they came straight to the plane on the tarmac to pick us up. Drove us straight to the yurt here. It's just a fun place. What would you tell a new aspiring Entrepreneur. You know, I think you have to do something that your heart's in. If your heart's not in it and it's not something you love, then it's going to feel like so much work. It's going to feel like a lot on your shoulders. But if you do something that you just love, you're passionate about, and you chase after that, you're never working. What's the number one skill that people should learn today? You got to learn how to socialize. People say, you know, you need to get certain education, certain skill set, yeah. which I think is partially true. But without being able to socialize and network and talk to people, it won't take to the next level. Mm. I'd rather take that ability to go network and socialize over anything else. Do you have any tips for networking for people? You just gotta put yourself out there. You know, like everyone has certain fears that they need to overcome. Yeah and you just gotta go and do it. What trait do you have that you think helped you become successful? The lack of fear of risk. Okay. You can, like, you gotta risk it all yeah. if you're really gonna be an entrepreneur. Cause you gotta believe in yourself, you have to have confidence in yourself. Yeah. That's why when you risk everything, it doesn't feel like risk. Cause there's so much belief in yourself and what you're about to do and what your dreams are and what you're about to accomplish. How do you invest your money? Oh, I invested in myself and my businesses. Okay. You have to have faith and trust in yourself. And I invest it all back in my businesses, which means I've invested back in my teams because for me it's all about people the only reason I'm here is because of my team so I put all my money back into my team would you be willing to share like the most you've ever made in a year or something just to inspire <laughs> the audience the reality is like I don't know how much money I make a year okay. because that's not my focus yeah. I know I make enough to live and pay my bills but the focus is always just having fun and everything will follow in line with it don't ever focus about how much money you make a year because that's that's not what you're there for. Yeah. Your focus should be to do something that you're passionate about and have fun doing it and make sure everyone around you is having fun on your team. Yeah. Love that. And then who are you most excited to see this weekend? Calvin Harris, those. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Calvin Harris tonight, nice. I'm so excited to see. So what are your names, uh, what's your age, and where are you guys from? I'm Christian. Samara. I will be 50 in a few months. What do you guys do for a living? We own a couple of med spas. So how'd you get into that? There's a lot of steps that need to go into place. It's a very complex business, as you well know, right? Yeah. There's, you're putting needles in people's faces. So it's not like you just go, hey, I'm going to open up a place and get a lease and do all that stuff. No. A lot of people do that, though. But a lot of people do that, and unfortunately, the work shows. Yeah. But no, she had to go to school. She had to get a master's in nursing, and then she had to study and train and study and train and train and train. And then eventually, she came to me and said, hey, I'm going to open up a business. Okay. She's like, no, I'm going to do it. It's going to be great. And she did, and it started blowing up. And then we opened up a second location just recently. Wow. So, But it's all her. She's the driving force between for the business and 
everything. Do you have any advice for aspiring business owners? If there's something that you're really passionate about, right? People use that word very loosely. If there's something that you could eat, sleep, like dream, breathe, fight with and make up with, and it's, it's like a marriage, right? Yeah. So if it's something that you really want to do, you have to learn everything you can about it. You have to be it, you have to feel it, you have to dream it. Um, and then you really just need to go for it with the feeling that you can't fail. There's just no option. What was it like opening up your first location? I wasn't about to just blow a bunch of money on a location and do a huge build out. I had a methodic approach to it. So I got my first place that was you know, affordable and you know a good location. I never took out business loans. I didn't take out any financing. I used all of my disposable income to, to build my business. So I worked you know in an urgent care and emergency for um, 12 hours a day. And then I would fund this with, with my disposable income. So it was sensible. I calculated how many clients I would need. Yeah to like transition full time, you know, all that. So it wasn't just a huge, luxurious, you know, expenditure. This is not all glamorous being an entrepreneur. In this is it worth it though? 1,000% worth it. 1,000%. What's the best part about it? Being able to spend money on fun things because you, you grind and you work every day and it's 24-7 and it's nonstop. And people don't see, you know, the, the guts. They don't see how hard it is. Yeah. What makes you happy? Freedom. Just like the ability to do whatever you want, whenever you want, which is why entrepreneurship is amazing if you can handle it. But it's not for the meek. Who's it for? Well, it's for everyone. Everyone has the ability to do it. Yeah. Most of the time, it's just fear-based conditioning and doubts that hold them back, to be honest with you. But everybody has the opportunity to do it. What's the number one skill that you think all young people should learn I mean definitely finance they don't teach it at all yeah. they really need to our kids for example they go to great school system but they, they struggle with knowing what saving even is what's the yeah. difference between savings and checking they don't know it's on the parents to teach them any final advice for aspiring young entrepreneurs nobody is thinking about you they're all thinking about themselves so get over any of that stuff get out there just be you and you'll attract your tribe well that was super cool uh, we didn't get a tour of the room because they said it was too messy I'll throw some pictures up on what the yurt looks like and yeah it's pretty cool definitely got some really amazing advice from them and they were super kind they invited me to drink with them but I'm trying to stay sober right now now on my walk back to my tent i actually ran into two more guests and they were super interesting to talk to so what's your name age and where are you from guess my age uh 31 i'm actually 42. wow <laughs> how do you look so young i cut out alcohol during the week okay. and just drink on weekends i eat keto and i work out it's been actually three years that i've been working out steadily at least three times a week what do you do for a living i'm a hustler okay so i've always had multiple jobs doing different things yeah. and i own my own business what type of business do you have i'm um, a design consulting business so do you have any advice for young aspiring entrepreneurs have a network that will challenge you support you and tell you what you need to hear even if it's not what you want to hear so how can you surround yourself with people that you know sort of push you find people that you aspire to and reach out okay. whether it's just kind of cold like on LinkedIn or there's a lot of entrepreneur networks that you can kind of find that I think people pay memberships too but there are groups out there that support each other and yeah. you just have to look what whatever your niche is how much do you guys spend on this whole experience probably 15 grand total with wow. flights outfits yeah. <laughs> you know and then the tents and, and all of that what would you tell your younger self if something fails don't beat yourself up. Like, don't try to do it all on your own. I've been fired, I've lost jobs, I've had businesses that have failed, but I think I beat myself up too much on the failure instead of focusing on what will I do differently the next time yeah. and those learnings and then just being like let's just keep moving so I would tell myself experiment try new things but don't beat yourself up over when things go wrong or, or the unexpected because that's life you can't control everything and if things go the wrong way work your way through it that's the only way and get help because there's gonna be someone who has crawled out of that hole that you're in yeah. and they'll, they'll give you that advice or push what's your best trait that helped you become successful flexibility is something that just is built into the Brazilian culture of just going with the flow. I think that some cultures are very rigid and it's black or white. Yeah. So if you fall in love with your own idea and it doesn't work out and you need to make adjustments, do it because the sooner you do it, the, the sooner you'll be successful. Where are you going to be in 10, 20 years? I'm just going to be happy yeah. and go, go where life takes me. And I think that's just a little bit about my personality. Thank you so much. Yeah. What's your name and where are you from? Hey, Shell, and I'm from Denver. And what do you do for a living? Oh, we're real estate agents. Okay. A lot of our audience are like aspiring entrepreneurs. A lot of them want to get into real estate. 
Mm -hmm. What advice would you give them? I would say that a lot of people think it's easy and it's not easy. Mm. We work 24-7, you know, we're working now. Dealing with clients and stuff? Yeah, and which is fun, you know, know that it's not just a side gig. Yeah. It's, it's a real thing. So for a new agent, how do you get your first deals? Well, a lot of people, you know, have family and friends and a lot of people they know. We yeah. didn't really know anybody. We moved to a new town and we just worked hard and, you know, marketed did a lot of marketing. Would you be willing to share like the most expensive home you've ever sold? Yeah, it's in the millions. Okay. I don't know how much. Our average price range is not super expensive. Okay, so are you more like volume based? I mean, it kind of depends. We've had people that their first house that we sold was 200,000 yeah. and then we sold their two and a half million dollar house oh. through the years. Wow. And are you in business with your husband? I am in business with my husband and my sister. Oh, yes. okay. How is it like doing family business? Um, my sister's showing a house for us right now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> while you guys are it's here. great. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and nice. I. Yeah. It's it's fun. Did you go to college? It's a little bit, but no. So so you dropped out. Mm -hmm. Are you glad that you dropped out of college? I don't think that it's something that everybody has to do. Like, for example, my daughter, yeah. she's a corporate accountant. You have to go to college for that. Mm, you know, yeah. not everybody does. Kind of depends on what you want to do, right? I think it's always good though if you can what's the most rewarding part about entrepreneurship really really helping people find the perfect place and you know sometimes it's not just helping people find a dream home it's helping them rectify a situation that they're in that they don't want to be in mm, you know selling their house when it's rough for so many reasons so what's your name age and where are you from i'm niraj i am 28 and i'm from london but now i live in la so what do you do for a living i work in video games and i work for minecraft well i run the game studio basically everyone that develops and makes cool stuff goes through me and then we make some cool things how'd you get into that hobby honestly okay i was studying exams and i was like you know what i'm playing games and minecraft was the game and i was just like wow this game's great and that was like 10 years ago do you yeah. have any advice for people that want to get into that do what you love honestly like do what you I, I did what i really liked i played games so how much you guys spend on the safari experience great 4k four thousand a person okay yeah is that worth it i mean look we got golf buggies true <laughs> there's food yeah it's hot as hell but hey it's here we're here at coachella and like vents right here so i yeah. think it's worth it okay it's pretty okay. good we played frisbee the other day it's great what's a popular piece of advice that you hear a lot that you actually disagree with i didn't go to college i dropped out after the first year the stuff i was learning at college was like redundant by the yeah. time i got out oh. uh, but this is if you're a doctor go to college if you're a Please. Go to college. If you're like tech or something, like you don't have to. Like yeah. there's a lot of things that you can just do by yourself and learn by yourself as well. So you don't have to have an education. Are your kids gonna go to yes, uh, college? Like, if they want to, I'm not gonna okay. force them to though. If they tell me like oh, I want to do my own thing, it's gonna happen. Yeah. So I'll let them decide as well. What's been your biggest regret to date? Not leaving London sooner. It's, it's sunny. It's like blue skies. London's cold and wet. But hey, apparently the food's great as well. So go there, check it out. And then last question: Who are you most excited to see today? Blackpink. Nice. <laughs> I'm say Blackpink. Nice. I mean, hell yeah. I mean, it's, it's great. It's iconic. I realized I hadn't interviewed anyone from the residences. It's yeah, I really wanted to find someone. Hey. Hi. I'm, I'm making a YouTube video asking people what they do for a living yeah. at the safari campground. Would you want to be in it? Yeah, sure. After I get dressed, is that cool? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what time that will be? Maybe like 10, 15 minutes. Okay. I'm just in there clean. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Unfortunately, I came back later and I just couldn't find them. So that was a fail on my part. And that wraps up day two of the Coachella interviews. All right, guys, so it's day three Coachella. Uh, we slept at 5 a.m. last night, so didn't get to sleep that much, but we're gonna do another round of interviews and yeah, should be a good day. So day three, my main goal was to talk to someone in the residences. These cost $15,000, but they're super nice and they're brand new. Now, if you guys don't know, I get nervous doing these. And so to warm up, I first talked to someone that was staying at one of the regular tents and that was a super interesting interview. So what's your name, uh, age, and where are you from? William, I'm 42 from New Orleans. And what do you do for a living? I'm a dermatologist actually. Uh, was going to that school worth it? Yeah, I think so. So what, what things do you do for your skin? Sunscreen, retinol, uh, vitamin, See. So you guys booked an oral tent, you're saying, and then they gave you this? Yeah, a little bit more installation. Yeah. What would you change about yourself if you could change one thing? Sometimes be less bitter <laughs> when things don't go my way. Okay, okay. How do you invest your money? A, co a combination, mostly I'm in the stock market, a little bit of just bonds and money market stuff as well. Okay. So after that, it was time for me to actually go and find someone in the residences. I'd failed before, but I was set on finding someone today. And luckily, there were a couple of people outside lounging by their pool, and so I decided to actually approach them. Hey guys, Hi. I'm doing a YouTube video. Um, we're asking people what they do for a living here at the safari campgrounds. What? Would you guys be down to be in the video? What do you want to do? Sure. So what are your names and where are you guys from? Nikki from LA. John from LA. And what do you guys do for a living? I work at uh, Beats by Dre. 
Okay. Yeah. Oh. And, and I'm in healthcare. I'm a nurse. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice. How much do you guys spend on this whole safari experience? So this was like 15000 okay. Do you guys have any advice for people that want to one day be able to afford this and do, do this? this experience? Yeah. Get a really good job that pays a lot because I don't know how else you would be able to afford this. Yeah. And, or even like save your money. Yeah. Like honestly, like if this is something you just want to do, like anything you want to do, you can just yeah. save for it. And you guys think this is worth like the totally experience? Totally worth everything. Like yeah. we've done Coachella in so many different like we've done like Coachella GA staying at a motel. We've done Coachella yeah. uh, car camping, like right? Yeah. We've done Coachella like doing the shuttle to the hotels yeah. and it is expensive, but I feel like it's totally worth it for all the perks that you get. Yeah, like the guest sure. pass, the golf carts, the experience in general is like next level. I don't think we'll ever be able to go back to yeah. a regular Coachella yeah. experience after this. What advice would you give your younger self? Like be a little bit smarter with my money and like invest when I was younger okay. it definitely funneled more towards like party just be a little bit smarter with your money but still have fun like when you die you can't take that money with you it's true you can pass it on so like have fun now how much you guys spend on the merch yesterday combined it was like fifteen hundred dollars wow. worth of merch do you guys have any uh, advice for other couples actually we're really 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 good friends <laughs> yes communication I think so yes number one yeah. I think acceptance too yeah. like you have to accept the person for who, who they, they are, are. Yeah, yeah I think uh, communication is just not being afraid to be who you are yeah, yeah yourself with the other person. What needs to be changed in the world? More kindness. Yes, all the violence that yeah. needs to go, yeah. I think. How did you get your job, by the way? I'm like Drake, I started from the bottom <laughs> and now I'm here. Well, Somehow like got into the tech industry yeah. at like Belkid and like started out as like a admin type level thing and then yeah. got the opportunity to move into product development and then just kind of worked my way up from there. I've been very blessed and lucky yeah. to be where I am today. But I also feel like I've worked really hard hard in my job to kind of advance and like succeed whenever I saw an opportunity to move somewhere in advance I took it I would put my all into it and like work as hard as I could well thank you guys so much of course. yeah but yeah John and Nikki were so nice we even shared a couple tequila shots together and it was just so fun meeting people like them and John also showed me the room which you guys blew me away it's so much better than the tents it smelled brand new so yeah if you want to feel like you're staying in a hotel room and not a tent this is gonna be the way to go. So there you have it, asking Coachella VIPs what they do for a living. We talked to so many amazing people. Overall, this trip was just super fun. We made a ton of friends. We got to see amazing live performances. And honestly, I would definitely do this whole safari experience again. If you guys want to get some free stocks, I'll leave links down below to Weeble and Moomoo. Moo. They're giving you guys a ton of free stocks when you sign up and fund your accounts. So I would definitely recommend checking that out. And yeah, hopefully you guys got some value out of this video. I know I learned a lot. And yeah, I'm super tired, sweaty, and 100% dehydrated. If you guys enjoyed the video make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this i make a ton of videos about personal finance entrepreneurship and investing thank you so much for your time and i'll see you in the next video peace